Today I wanted to show you a book that just came in the mail, and that is the Platoon Leader 3.0 Campaign Game Rules for ASL Advanced Squad Leader by MMP. And this particular publication was done by Critical Hit, and uh, you can see it's ASL Comp. The game itself, or the add-on itself, covers uh, you know all the rules you need to link scenarios together similar scenarios together for a full campaign and it includes rules for reinforcements uh, you know rest relief uh, withdrawal uh, patrols it, really everything you'd expect from an advanced uh, squad leader expansion covering this sort of material um, it's really in depth it's not a very uh, thick book but i guess that's a good thing um, but there's a lot of information that's covered here in a, in a short amount of time you know he starts off with an introduction tells you uh, uh, about uh, any new resources or uh, aids you may need um, as well as new acronyms new definitions stuff like that so uh, and then you, you see you're gonna have a replenishment table here there's just gonna be all sorts of stuff in this um, let's just go over a little bit uh, here that of the things that I see controlled terrain hex cluster would have to do with your fronts uh, shrinking or growing between battles as the front lines of both sides are reconciliated and adjusted compared to control points that have been captured uh, you have new purchase records, ways to purchase reinforcements and stuff. Uh, there's new strategic uh, terrain. There's isolated locations, isolated pockets, isolated units. Uh, you know, locations, uh, your MLR is going to be your main line of resistance. So there's going to be all sorts of new stuff in here. Um, you have on-map setup. You have setup that's in reserve. So you're going to have a new... A sheet that's for holding boxes off map you've probably seen those in other core sets as well but uh, this gets much much more into it as far as I'm, I'm aware of so you got rules for patrols um, activating units who are in reserve uh, there's a tremendous amount of information like I said you have rules for placing minefields unknown locations of minefields clearing those minefields uh, and minefields in different terrain. You now have rules for climbing and scaling. Uh, not sure if that's been done yet before. I'm sure it has, but they go over it here again. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of reading through here. Like I said, I've only taken a browse through here, so we're kind of reading it together. But it's just uh, looks like an excellent resource to have. I picked it up. I think it was about 35 bucks. And it was kind of funny because I was bidding on eBay with somebody and we were at like $30. And I was looking uh, at others and they were going for about $35 or $40. So that's what I bid. And he bid over that. And then about 10 minutes after that, somebody listed one for about $30 by now. So I picked it up. I was rather amused by that. It's funny the way life works sometimes. It's not always in that favor either. So anyway um back to this uh you can see they also add in um phases for out of the game as well so even there's certain campaign phases in between the scenarios that you're linking together in the campaign itself uh you also have disease and starvation tables down here for you know wars of attrition or lengthy battles of attrition so uh if you watch any of my other videos i'm a big fan of pacific theater so um, there's going to be some useful things in here, I think, for that, and I'm excited to add to it. You can see there's rules for evacuating the wounded off the battlefield, so uh, this is just going to, if you're looking, if you love the advanced squad leader like I do, it's, it's uh, you know, one of the most realistic sims of combat out there. However, it doesn't give you the full grasp on the strategic warfare and this really adds to the strategic aspect of advanced squad leader so if you're looking to move from a tactical game of asl into a more strategic version without loss of any tactical gameplay whatsoever 
then I think this is your best means to do it. I don't know because there's so many other expansions and things out there. I could be wrong, but I'm, you know, I've, I've um, seen a lot of ASL material myself, and this is very unique in terms of content and uh, the ideas behind it. So, it's uh, if you can find it and pick it up, I would highly recommend that. Like I said, uh, a tremendous amount of material in here in a short amount of space and if you get the same version i do it comes with some overlays from cemetery hill for a campaign involving that scenario as well so uh good book anyway before i end it i'm going to show you what's up with my next video coming here i do have a battle uh, action report actually uploading right now I think it's about 80% or so, so it should be up by the end of the night. But this particular scenario, this is going to be my second action report. And it's a scenario from the second starter kit. It's titled Paper Army. And uh, the first battle report I did had some artillery in it. Like I won't talk about it because you'll see it in just a couple minutes pop up there. But um, this one, even though it's from number two, it doesn't have any artillery. I chose to do it anyway because I didn't do an action report from the first starter kit. So I'll do an all infantry one here. And not only that, this one's very unique. The uh, game starts off, nobody's going to start off on this map. The Italians are going to enter on from the east side on the first turn, which is to the right. And they're in a full all out retreat. And their objective is to get to the west end of the map. They're going to get victory points. Uh, for each unit they manage to exit off the west side. But the Greeks are going to come on turn one right behind them with a movement factor penalty on the first turn. So the Italians are going to be all out on the run here, and it's going to be a really, really fun scenario. That grain all across the board, guess what? It's all open ground. This scenario takes place in November, so that's as good as a uh, killing field as can be for the Greeks there. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of ducking and dodging for the Italians. I'm excited to play this one. I'm excited to post it up. So hopefully I'll see you then. Uh, until then, check out some of my other videos. Good night.